हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका स्वामी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन पीडियाट्रिक्स एट सरदार पटेल मेडिकल कॉलेज बीकानेर एंड आई एम हियर विद माय अनदर वीडियो दैट इज रिलेटेड टू हेमेटूरिया इन चिल्ड्रन हाउ कैन वी लोकेट द ओरिजिन ऑफ द ब्लड इन अ चाइल्ड हु इज हु हैज कम टू अस विद हेमेटूरिया सो मोस्टली पेशेंट्स कंप्लेट ऑफ द रेड यूरिन व्हेन वी थिंक दैट इट मे बी अ हेमेटूरिया सो फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच i would like to emphasize that that should be come to our mind that we should ask the parents is there any history of eating something uh, colorful or like any substance that was containing food color uh, like some cakes uh, are uh, having decoration with the uh, colored items or uh, uh, many times uh, there is history of uh, say eating uh, beet or uh, the carrot juice which is commonly containing the beet juice also and the third uh, cotton candy which is very commonly used by the children and children are fond of uh, those candies so these are the common items which can color the uh, urine red so that may uh, make the parents worry that uh, oh, our child is having blood in the urine so uh, always rule out the history of eating something colorful uh, before proceeding to the uh, work up of a patient with red color urine so <laughs> the blood can uh, the urine can be red because of uh, the blood from the glomerulus or it can be red because of bleeding somewhere in the collecting system so there are few important points by which we can have a idea whether the origin is glomerular or it is post glomerular so grossly if we see at the urine uh, the color of the urine is bright red in cases of if the origin of the hematuria is in the collecting system like in the ureter or in the bladder and if it is glomerular in origin then it will be a cola colored urine as we see in the cases of acute uh, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis then uh, if the urine is containing visible clots or crystals then certainly it is a post glomerular hematuria then on microscopic examination if the erythrocytes are intact means there is no dysmorphism of the erythrocytes they are seen as they are then there are chances that it is a post glomerular hematuria while in cases of glomerular hematuria the rbcs as they pass through the glomeruli uh, the small pores they get this morph uh, they get get dysmorphic so in uh, that condition you may find uh, donut like cells or the cells which are having one or more blabs or budding cells as i will be showing you in the next slide okay so these are the differences between post glomerular hematuria and hematuria of the glomerular origin so here you can see that uh, the bright red urine is seen in cases of post glomerular hematuria while cola colored urine is seen in cases of glomerular hematuria then this uh, slide is showing you the microscopic examination like on the right side you can see dysmorphic rbcs which are having blabs on their surface or uh, some of them are uh, donor shape and on the left side you can see intact rbcs which are maintaining their shapes so uh, these are the few points which help us to differentiate between the hematuria of glomerular and post glomerular origin so i have i would like to thank the web for helping me making these slides thank friends thanks so much for watching this video like if you really feel that it's a helpful video for you thank you so much